Good morning guys, this is completely unprepared but I woke up inspired to do a palette bingo. I got inspired by Samantha March, Angelica Newquist and Heather Austin I think is the, the surname. I hope I pronounced this right. So I have a new addition here to my audio and I wanted to test it out and I wanted to do some makeup as well. I think I mentioned in my previous video that most of the times I don't know what I want to do on my eyes when I sit to do my makeup, so that's that's easier, somebody else will decide instead of me. I picked the Be Perfect Carnival palette because it has 40 shades. Now, let me just turn the palette without blinding you. I'm not gonna, you know, use the highlighter shades. We are just picking some of these, there are 40, and I will pick six shades randomly. No, not me, actually, my phone. So yeah, grab a coffee, snack, something, and uh, let's start the bingo. So I have an app here on my phone, I just downloaded it like 10 minutes ago, I don't know how it works exactly, but uh, you can pick a number, so I picked from 1 to 40, no repeat, and then uh, it will give me the shade number 28, I have number 28, 27, 28, okay, yeah, that's temptation, this is a really beautiful um, shimmer shade, it's more like metallic shade, but let me just put the palette down, and swatch the color for you. Oh, it's nice. Okay, this noise is some someone is. Uh, I don't know what's the what's the word in English. My window is closed, and you can still hear it. I guess. Sorry about that. Okay, the next shade is gonna be forty. Oh, that's a matte black. <laughs> yes, this one. This is the last shade in the palette. I'm so lucky so far. By the way, I haven't used this palette for so long time. I can never decide which shade I want to use, so that's a good option now. Okay, the next number is 37. 40, 39, 38, 37. <laughs> that's ecstasy. And I don't know where I'm gonna put the ecstasy. This is how the color looks like. This is neon green. 39, that's fine, that's fine. 39 is intuition and it's the matte brown. This actually is a, is a nice cool tone brown, which is, which is nice. I mean, it's always nice when you have a cool tone brown shade in your palette. Okay, next up, 23. Okay, that's, that's a bit different. Now, oh, my phone is so dirty. I'm just ignoring him, that's it. 23. So, uh, 8, 16, 24, 24 is this, so uh, 23. Is this one that's that's nice oh that's not gonna be so bad probably that's yet another it's basic the name of the shade is basic and it's kind of more like medium brown but it's definitely warmer than the other one um, let me swatch it for you this is how it looks like I really hope I'm not gonna need to delete this video because of this guy there really so we have five and the last shade we will use is 12 this is number 12 9 10 11 12 okay persuasion i like this shade a lot kind of like that's purpley that's a warm purple shade matte this is how it looks like what i'm gonna start off with just to get rid of my phone is um this shade in my crease just because it's uh, it, it looks easier i don't know we'll see i'm gonna clean my brush here and I think this neon green, I will save for the lower eyelid, I guess. This I'm gonna run all over my crease and decide after. This shade is so usable, by the way, um, for so many looks. I mean, like a transition shade anyway. But believe me or no, I, I have this palette for so long time and I still have shades which I haven't used. Okay, that's it for now. I'm not gonna go overboard because I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next, but uh, basic is done. I think I'm gonna leave this shimmer here, what was the name? Temptation, uh, for the center of the lid. And by the way, if I have, if I had something blue or, you know, something a bit different, I would probably use it on my, um, you know, like I would use the neon green on my upper lid for some fun, but I don't. So I think I'm gonna go with the neutrals on, on my upper lid. I'm gonna go in with the uh, dark brown here, just like a little bit lower in my crease. <laughs> and uh, I will probably darken up the outer corner with the black. I mean, I was really, really lucky with the black. And the dark brown was intuition. Okay, that was a good reminder for me to clean my brushes today, if I have time. Even though I'm going to the beach later on. 
with my sister and the kids. By the way, I'm starting work next week. Actually, you're seeing this video on Tuesday, I think, is it? And um, I will be working the next day, on Wednesday, I start work. Oh no, on Tuesday, yeah. So when you are seeing this video, I'm gonna be working. And uh, I haven't been working for months with the corona situation. I guess it's the same with most of you. Let me know down in the comments, do you work? Are you working now or are you staying home? I mean, here everything was closed. They just start to open some things now. I hope I'm gonna be able to keep up with the videos this week and the next week until I just get used with, the, you know, managing my time again. I think I'm gonna go back to basic and just to blend the edges of this brown. Okay, Ooh, I really like this so far. Now, the next shade I have is now the shimmer I'm gonna leave for the center and the inner corner of my lid. And I think I might, I might be better off using it now and then use the black as an eyeliner because my outer corners are quite dark, really, right now. And by the way, I'm not spraying the brush. Just wanna use the shade as it is. They really, really pigmented these shades in the Be Perfect palettes. To be honest, I was thinking to to buy the, the the Tahiti palette. I think it was the Tahiti, the second palette. Actually, that's the second palette, the third palette, which they came up with um, Stacy Marie MUA. Because of the purples there. And I might. You know me and the purples. If I don't do something neutral, I'm gonna... <laughs> Definitely, you know, go for something uh, blue or purple, but like this cool tone purples, I like a lot. Honestly, guys, that seems to be easier with this palette bingo. Now, I'm gonna go back to basic, just to blend the um, edge a little bit here. Now, I can't decide if I should try to blend some of this shade here on the top. I don't know. Should I take the risk? Should I not? I will. Because I want to use the same shade to blend the green on my lower lid. Or this is what I'm planning at least. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm thinking it on a definitely smaller brush. Oh yeah. That's nice. That's fun, really. I can't believe uh, it took me so long to try this, you know, palette bingo thing. I really, really like how this turned out. Honestly, I will never, I would never pick these shades myself. I mean, combine them myself. I don't know. I told you, I'm not getting inspiration for my eyes so often. But now let's go to the let's <laughs> let's get into the fun part here and the green. And I think I need a small, really tiny, bitty brush. This is really, really pastel shade, and it's a. Uh, you know, it's it's a bit not hard to work with, but you know the pastels. It's not gonna show up so bright unless I don't use something white under. I would never ever use this type, this kind of green, together with these browns. So if you wanna go wild with your eyeshadows, just play palette bingo. Okay, now. Uh, I'm gonna try to blend the green with with a bigger brush which I was about to use before the Jacqueline brush uh, with a persuasion with a purple shade they don't seem to go well together but I want to take the risk actually this should change completely the green and turn it to other color some weird mixture okay I need to clean the mess a bit here because of my scar. Okay, I want to bring the purple a bit lower here as well. And I'm gonna go back to the green uh, and we're almost done. And lastly, I have to use the black and the black I'm gonna use instead of an eyeliner because I think that my outer corners are dark enough. I need something in my lash line. No, that's a fallout, a big time fallout. Okay, now I'm gonna spray the brush so I don't get black eyeshadow all over the place. And I'm gonna try to clean up this mess after. 
I really like how this turned out, but I'm gonna do something, something with my lashes, something in the waterline, and I'm coming back in a second. I did some mascara and I didn't do any lashes because I, I said I'm going to the beach later on, so I have to take off this makeup in a few hours. Um, I did some blush, just a bit, and something on the lips, but I really, really like how this turned out. I swear I would never ever use this kind of green in my makeup. I mean, especially combined with these shades, that was the last thing which would, you know, pop in my mind if I'm looking at this palette. But I'm so glad I did it. I'm so glad I played this game. Let me know down in the comments. Do you like this kind of videos? Um, are they relaxing, fun for you? That's the point anyway. I had a lot of fun, but I want to do something which you like to watch. So if you like this video, please give me thumbs up because it really helps YouTube find that, um, understand that you like my content and my channel. And I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.